Well, the investigation into who brought cocaine into the White House could reportedly wrap up as soon as Monday. But that may not be enough for House Republicans. Fox's Molly Hennenberg has the story. The White House buying time on the Who Done It story developing since last Sunday. Who left a bag of cocaine in a cubby in the West Wing of the White House? So we'll let the investigation unfold. If it involves someone from the White House, the appropriate consequences will ensue. The Secret Service says it's doing DNA analysis on the cocaine and reviewing security camera footage and staff and visitor logs. But officials say it's possible that they never solve this one. Florida Republican Congressman Mike Waltz says it's a massive breach of security. Set aside this cocaine, a white powder that could have been anthrax or some other type of chemical or weapon of mass destruction gets that close to the heart beat of our government. Kentucky Republican Congressman James Comer, who chairs the House Oversight Committee, sent a letter to the Secret Service director asking for answers by mid-July, saying, quote, this alarming development requires the committee to assess White House security practices and determine whose failures led to an evacuation of the building and finding of the illegal substance. The cocaine was found near the highly classified Situation Room, but Jake Sullivan said today that that space is under construction and has not been used in months. President Trump's former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, dismisses the idea that this case cannot be solved and said Friday that he could find the culprit with a list of people who had access to that area of the White House and some lie detector tests. In Washington, Molly Henneberg, Fox News.